Providing users with lots of content can mean lots of scrolling. But if they want to get back to the top of the page, they have to scroll past what they've already seen. Instead, we can give users an easy lift up. Today, we're going to implement a button that, when pressed, scrolls the user's viewport to the top of the page. Right now, I have a button in the bottom right-hand side of my page, but it doesn't do anything when I click it. The first thing I need to do is register a tap event on the button. I'm going to define the target as top of page, then specify the action, scroll to. Lastly, I'll add a hidden div to the top of the page with the ID top of page. Now, if I scroll down, then click the button, it takes me back up to the top of the page. This is pretty excellent, but my button is visible when the user is already at the top of the page. If my user taps it when the div is still there, it won't do anything. Instead, we want the button to appear after the user scrolls the top of the page out of the viewport. To do this, I'll import the script tags for two AMP components, AMP Animation and AMP Position Observer, a very dynamic duo. I'll then quickly update the button CSS visibility to hidden, and then I'm going to define two AMP animation components. One animation that will show the button, and a second one that will hide it again. Then I'll define an AMP position observer element within my hidden div, and I'll define two actions and corresponding events on AMP position observer. First one is on exit, meaning when AMP position observer exits the page, we'll start the show nm animation. I'll then add a semicolon to define a second event, enter, meaning when AMP position observer re-enters the page's viewport, we start the hide a nim animation. And there you have it, a scroll to top button that animates in and out with the user's position in the viewport. As always, thanks for watching.